Hello, here in this video we will use these two data frames, salary and bonus. Usually a left join is represented like this. This means that we will take all the rows of left data frame and join with those that exist in the right data frame. In this case, the last row of right data frame will not appear in the final result because it doesn't exist in the left data frame. The final result will be something like this and something to notice here is that Octavia doesn't have any value here because she doesn't appear in the right data frame. About right join is almost the same thing is represent like this and we will take all the rows from the right side we will join with the rows that exists in the left side and we will get a result like this. As you can see Shazity doesn't have any value here because she doesn't appear in the left data frame. How we can do a left join and a right join with pandas? We can use the join and merge instance methods. In this video we will use just join. This is the part one, right? In the next video we will do with merge. As always, we are importing pandas here, this is the path for the files and here we load the salary and the bonus. After this, we will do our code. If you saw the previous video about the inner join, you know already that we need to create an index in both data frames so it will join properly. Let's declare a salary id index that is equals to salary dot set underscore index and we provide the column id. The column id will be the index on salary id index. Okay. For bonus we have bonus id index is equals to bonus dot set underscore index and the column that will be the index is the underscore id. Now we can do our left join. Let me go a little down here so we can see everything that is important and we declare a result that is equals to salary id index dot join with bonus id index. We print it here and let's run and see what we get. And we got an error. Columns overlap. Okay. And it says that we have a name and a, a value. So both they Data frames have a name and both data frames have a column called value. So we need to distinguish these things. To do that, we need to provide two more parameters to the join instance method. We go here and we provide the L suffix for left suffix that is equals to underscore from salary and a R suffix that is equals to from bonus. The left suffix refers to the salary and right suffix refers to the bonus. Let's run these and we got what we expected. Now it is very easy to understand that this column comes from salary and this column comes from bonus. Also, as you can see, we have here a not a number and another not a number because Octavia doesn't have a bonus. Let's change these values. We go a little down here and I will paste some code that I have already, we will change with the lock function these values. So the first lock, we are saying that we want the row that have the ID 13. We want the column that is called name underscore from bonus this column so we are referring to this value okay we are changing it to be octavia in the second lock we are getting all the rows that have a not a number in the column value underscore from bonus all the rows that are not a number and also we are selecting the column value underscore from bonus this column and we are assigning the value 100 so we will change this value this not a number but imagine that we had more not a numbers in this column so this code will change those values too we can run this again and as you can see we have here Octavia and 100 an important thing to notice here is that we are doing a join with index on index but the join instance method allows us to do also a column on index so let's me copy this we go a little down 
we make some room for the new code and we paste and instead of calling here the salary id index we can call directly the salary the data frame that doesn't have the id as an index for this to work we need to provide the parameter on and we say that we want to join column id from salary we say here id with the index of bonus id index this is a column on index join let's run and see what we get and we got what we expected also there is another parameter that we can provide that is the sort parameter and we will say that it is true so if we notice here in the id we have 12 32 13 and 67 running this now we got the rows sorted by the id we have 12 13 32 and 67 and about the right join we can go up and copy the previous code here and we go down here and we paste the code and we provide another parameter that is the how parameter by default this how parameter is left for left join and now we want a right join okay we run this and we got what we expected here. We have here, for example, chasity don't have a salary, just have a bonus, okay? So we have here not the numbers. Let's review. First, we needed to set the ID in both data frames as index. Then we could use the method join. And remember, we don't need to provide the how parameter because the default for join is left join, okay? And we got this error, columns overlap. Why? Because in both data frames, we have columns with the same name. To solve this problem, we needed to provide two parameters, L suffix for left data frame and R suffix for right data frame. With these, we can understand that these two columns come from salary and these two columns come from bonus data frames, okay? And just to remember, this is an index on index join because we are joining by the indexes, okay? Also, we saw how to fill empty values with lock function okay we got this final result where we have here octavia and 100 we saw how to do a column on index join providing the on parameter and here salary don't have the id as an index so we need to say that column id of salary is the column that will join with the index of bonus id index okay and we saw the sort parameter that allow us to sort the final result by the id to do the right join we just needed to provide the how parameter with the value right and we got this result this is the end if you find this video helpful please like it it will help a lot and as always thank you for watching